Hello, sports fans, sports betters, YouTube Nation. John here with Rigga Picks. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Friday. TGIF. I have just been crazy busy at work, but that is okay because, um, you know, when you're busy at work, it's all good. It's all good. May 6th, Friday, coming off of a great day. Uh, for YouTube play was the loser. The Toronto Blue Jays had him on the run line. My chart pick that, um, you, you know, it's been sputtering a little bit. It's irritating. Kind of frustrating. I mean, over 72% chance to win for the Blue Jays yesterday in four different metrics. And they just didn't score. Had opportunities. And they just decided to, uh, you know, squander them. And that that's just the sports betting that's going to happen. I had them twice. I got double double smacked by them. Had them on the run line right here on YouTube for plus 104. They were my chart pick, so I hit, hit them up on the money line for my biggest play of the day. It did not hit. But the other five did. So 5-1 and one overall. It was 3-0 and on my morning card, 2-1 and one on my late card. The late card um, often includes KBO. And I know a lot of people look at the KBO and they go, whoa. I'm not going to bet that because I don't know anything about it. I follow the KBO. I happen to um, – I love baseball. I got into it during the quarantine. It was on ESPN. I had a little one. She was very little at the time, so she was up at random hours of the night. And I would find myself on the couch rocking her back to sleep watching the KBO. Um, happened to – become near and dear to me it's baseball it's competitive baseball um it's the same teams beating up on each other all season long which is sometimes gets kind of redundant and sometimes hard to cap but overall just rocking and rolling with kbo so um i know a lot of people out there are like Whoo, but you know what roll with me we got it baby we got it all right for you guys play today we're going colorado rockies arizona diamondbacks for those of you that don't know the diamondbacks are the number one profitable team this year um oftentimes they get um, plus money odds and they win and we have cashed a couple times with the diamondbacks they have great starting pitching i mean great and they don't have a bad lineup they're a bunch of scrappy guys they're kind of built like the oakland a's not a lot of big names but they're still baseball players and they can still scrap and um, Kettle Marte and those guys when they can get going whew, they could put up some runs so you know sneaky good they're sneaky good which is good for betting for sports betting because uh sneaky good teams the books are like not buying it not buying it not buying it we cash we cash we cash later on in the season you're gonna see them start being favored more than they're not with certain pitchers on the mound today they're playing the rockies uh, rockies are sending um chad cool to the bump he's had a pretty good season uh so far both these pitchers starting today have had great seasons but chad cool he's 3-0 in the season the rockies are 4-0 when he takes the mound he's got a 1.90 era a 0.845 Walks and hits per inning pitched. Diamondbacks come in. Um, they're, they're going with Merrill Kelly. Merrill Kelly's been lights out himself. He got tagged hard in one game this season by the Dodgers. Dodgers, I don't know if anybody knows this, but the Dodgers are pretty good. But Diamondbacks took two or three from the Dodgers. They just, they tagged Merrill Kelly. He's two and one in the season. Uh, Arizona's three and two in his starts. He's got a 1.27 ERA. He has a 1.27 ERA, and they've lost two ball games when he starts. That's that's a bad bullpen. Just saying, a starting pitcher with a sub-2 ERA should win way more than he loses. Um, he's got a 1.024 um, whip average, which is walks and hits per innings. As I said, Merrill Kelly, the only game he's really gotten tagged in is the Dodgers. Chad Cool, um, his last outing was against the Reds, and he got tagged by the, tagged by the Reds. Um, Went seven and a third. I shouldn't say he got tagged, but he got hit pretty good, decent. Went seven and a third. Gave up five hits, three runs. Um, they made they made good of what they've they've done. But he's faced the Reds, the Tigers, the Phillies, and the Rangers. Not exactly stellar lineups for Chad Cool in this one. Uh, Merrill Kelly. He's faced St. Louis, the Dodgers, the Houston Astros, and the Washington Nationals. Uh, they can put some pretty good lineups together. His last time out against the Cardinals, he went up against Mikolas, um he went seven innings, gave up two hits, had four strikeouts. Uh, Arizona Diamondbacks won that game two to nothing. So that's another thing. You know, you got to have run support also as a starting pitcher. Um, he got two runs worth of run support, and that ended up holding up. But what I really like and what kind of blows my mind, I looked at the no run first inning in this one, expected to see it minus 170, right? I expected to see it way above minus 150. It's so minus 137. Yes, please, and thank you. Um, your official Ricketts. Diamond pop pick for this game is going to be the Arizona Diamondbacks, Colorado Rockies, no run in the first inning. I think both these pitchers come out. Um, they're good, and I don't think we might not even see a hit in the first inning. But 
We're definitely, I don't think we're going to see a run. I shouldn't say we're definitely not. Not going to see a run because we can. Uh, it's sports betting, anything can happen. As we saw with the Blue Jays yesterday, they did not tag Savali. Everyone's tagged Savali. There we go. But no run first inning, minus 137, one unit. That's how we're going to roll. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Hope everybody has a great weekend. I'm going to do my best to get on here this weekend, and we'll just see how it goes. Got another super, super busy weekend going. But if you guys are lucky, hopefully I can maybe get a little chance to go live from, from the Mariners game. I'm going there. But anyways, with all that being said, don't forget, hit that thumbs up button for me. Put a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you got. Tap the bell. Turn the notifications on. Subscribe. All that fun stuff. Thank you very much for watching this video. And most importantly, good luck with your bets.